this. I appreciate you. Why are we doing that first? So we're, so we're ready to go when it's yeah, so, yeah, so uh, when we're ready, we're ready. Oh, and it's going to give the turkey a beef flavor, too. Yeah, so we're going to use, like, the render from the fat, from this. Just leave it on there? On our turkey. See, it's nice and fatty. You see that? Mm -hmm. So good. Done. Yes, done. done. Okay. So I have my ground turkey. Okay. This is beef bacon. This is beef bacon. We're gonna take a half of some Lipton or regular onion soup mix. So half. Just half. Where do we get the bacon? You can get the bacon from um, Publix. You can get it from Publix. Walmart. I, had, has I it. hadn't seen any K Rogers. I gotta be honest. Walmart has it. I you been to Walmart? They have an angle. I had a life before you. They have it um, on Amazon as well. If you can do that, the, the Amazon cart. Now I know some of y'all might not like this, but I gotta add just a little bit of water to my meat. Why? Why? Because of the, otherwise it's gonna be real, real salty from that soup mix. Just a little bit, just a little, run it through. A little, little pass through, that's all. Maybe a tablespoon and a half, okay? I'm gonna add about four cloves of garlic. Why so many? Because we like garlic. Mm. That's, you can add more or less, depending on your taste buds. I'm gonna grab one of my mixers from cooking with Miss E. We're gonna mix it real good. Mix it good. Mm. I'm gonna mix it real good. Ah, mix it. Do -do -do -do. I don't think you made enough French fries, babe. I made enough French fries. I don't think so. Oh, I have French fries in the oven. Um, just because it goes good with burgers. <laughs> it's just that simple and that complicated at the same time. All mm. right. Ugh. We need to flip these. All mixed in. Mix them. Uh, flip it, babe. What do you want me to do? Mix this while I flip these. Oh. Beef. Shit. Yeah. I'm going to flip these. Beef. Delicious. Delicious. Bacon. Bacon! Why bacon? Just because it's good. Good taste. Just more hearty than than uh, pork bacon in my it's, opinion. It's so good, y'all. And I didn't put any more seasoning on it because beef bacon actually is seasoned very, very well. And if you're not careful, your food's going to taste salty. Too salty. Yep. So, but you can top your burgers with whatever you want. We're making regular American burgers. Just right. lettuce, so, tomato, onion, cheese, bacon. Why are we not using a skillet? Well, we're not using a skillet because it's easier to make more of them on this. Mm. That's just that simple and that complicated. I hate Same using time. that thing. It's too hard to clean. I will clean it. It's fine. I'll clean everything else. I hate cleaning that. Thanks, dear. Yeah. Okay. So while he's doing that, that's mixed up really nicely, dear. Thank you. All right. Cool. So we're done. Take my handy dandy gloves. Why? Because I gotta handle the meat. With my hands. Hello, everyone. Go make these little patties real quick. That's too small. Not for me. Oh, okay. I just need to make my own. You know what, Vaughn? We only put in one pack of meat, okay? So. Well, oh, I thought we did another one. I, 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 there's more in the refrigerator. That's why I only use half of the pack of um, right. mix. And we're down a person today, too, so. Yeah, Jen's not here, guys. It's just Mike so, today. So we just gonna eat hers. Does that need to be flipped again, or is it ready to come off? No, it doesn't need to be flipped again. We're just gonna wait. Uh -huh. Okay, boom. I'm gonna put on some new gloves when it's time to put them on the grill. Thank you, babe. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, okay. everybody. How's the lighting look? We won't, we, won't, onion buns. we won't turn the camera around because it's, you know, behind the scenes stuff, but Mike has got this place lit up. I want to know how you guys think it looks. Now, this is beef, y'all, and I know pork can have parasites and all that stuff. Just any raw meat, you want to make sure that it's cooked thoroughly. I am going to flip these again. I just want to make sure that it's all the way live. Cooked, cooked, and booked. And I'm not, I'm not going to get rid of this um, oil rendering. You're just going to cook on top of it? I'm going to cook these turkey burgers right on top of this oil, y'all. And it's going to be wet. It's going to wash and good. So while we are waiting, oh, I'm making my sangria. This is my sangria. What about the uh, french fries? You want to make sure yeah. they don't burn. Well, you're in charge of the french fries. Since when? Oh. Y'all, this sangria from Aldi is delicious. I put um, the little cuties, I sliced them up real nice so they're real sweet. And I put um, raspberries and blueberries in there. What happened to mine? Okay. Yours is right there, dear. Mm. Very, very quite contrary. Which Braxton is the best cook? Have y'all decided? I, you know. Well, the mom. Miss Braxton is number one, and then well, her. Mommy, of course, is number one. She's right. the teacher. And then you. So. All right, y'all, we're going to get to the nitty gritty in this. We're going we to get into this real big conversation in just a second. I just want to make sure my bacon is done. Someone said, Funny. Toria Williams said her husband doesn't like cook, cleaning the griddle either. I hate that thing. I don't mind cleaning it. I'll clean everything else. I hate. I don't it. mind cleaning the griddle. I don't, I don't. I never use it. And, but I'm going to tell you what I don't do. There's like this little slide thing that goes in here that um, catches the work. grease and stuff. It doesn't work. It, <laughs> It doesn't. It, it, it doesn't really catch enough for me. I put a little. I put a little saucer underneath because it catches more for me. For me, it leaks. For me, mm -hmm. and I don't want anybody to, you know, have an oil spill or anything like that on themselves. Mm -hmm. And I don't. Uh -oh. I don't usually like to use metal on this metal. Have we done what? Are what? you touching the hot stuff, my love? No, baby, it fell through. I was getting it off the. It thing. went to the to the thing, to the bottom. And I don't know what's wrong with the um. I don't know what's wrong with the Instagram thing what's because it doesn't it? it doesn't populate quickly to like rise up. Oh, we got we have Arabic. Oh, thank you. I got my apron from Tammy Faye. Thank you, Tammy Faye. Hey, AJ. That's why, babe. It's not we've we missed so many. We missed so many. Sorry. Ah. Be careful, babe. This is this is a kitchen for cooks. I know that. Okay. Doesn't take long for the bacon. Four minutes on each side. It's, I mean, it's at 350. Ow. And say something about the paper cooks, babe. I'm going I'm to say something to you. Okay, that. so this is done. So we like it just a little bit crispy. Just a little bit. Who was that? Hey, Ray. Hey, what's up, Ray? So let me come on. He's not. Yeah, come on in, bro. Right, so this is done. Have you been crying all the time? No, I have allergies real bad. What's up, man? So and this we, is now officially springtime. And Vaughn and I, do we went out today to enjoy this amazing, done, beautiful weather we'll, that God um, has given us drop today. Down to the lower, and it's just allergies. And then coming back here because it goes no, behind every, the bar. Everybody needs a good cry. Ain't no, ain't no no reason I have to bring it up steps and then today. down. Come it's on, please. allergies. Come on and say hello. You walk in here anyway. I got to watch this now. Hey, Ray. Hey, Glenn. So if you guys will remember, these are the same two people that we were over their house on Saturday um, making pizzas making pizzas okay. and, and they brought the uh, pizza oven back and I appreciate it because it's really heavy okay so now I'm just going to spread this oil around just a smidge just so nothing sticks and it'll be nice and delicious okay pumpkins alright let me get my gloves on Go on, get your gloves on. Go on, get your gloves on. They got water going all over the place. I apologize. I apologize. Who did that song? Who did that song? I don't know. Who? I'm going to let you sit and think about it for a while. I don't. I mean, I don't. You, s you said two words. I don't know. I said, I apologize. It's two words. Oh, believe me, I do. 
We're gonna let him stew on it. I have no idea. All right. Burger number one. I look sad. I'm not your sad. sister. No one is not talking. Oh my god. Well, I don't know. Yes, you do. No, I really don't. Mike, you know what I'm talking about? Well, he not know either. Sit on it. Thank you, thank you for getting it right. Who is it? I need a baker. What? Oh. What do you mean, old oh, bat? When I say only oh, one, there's only one. I need a baker. Thank you, thank y'all, thank you, South Paul. You knew. Thank you, Mike Thompson. Who is love Mike Thompson? Mike Witherspoon. That's someone else. Do y'all know? I know about Anita Baker. I know Anita Baker. I just, I just, I didn't know. Now that you say it, yeah, I remember the song. I like all her music, for real. All right, y'all. Let me take a sip real quick before we have this conversation. Okay? Turn these down. Yeah, they're, they're too high. It's making a lot of grease. Babe, it's the grease is from the, the bacon, so we want that rendering. We want that flavor. You smell it? Well, we're down a hamburger. Mm-hmm. We're down a hamburger. There's five of us. We need another hamburger. Where is it? Yeah, where is it? It's in the second drawer. Okay. Damn, it's frozen. Well, yeah. Well, Raymond said that Glenn ate and he's not going to want to eat. That's what he's going to want. You smell this food. You don't want don't you? You don't want a burger? Why not? Why, Come on, why, dude. Why not? Well, then y'all, split, then y'all split one? I'm going to eat that. What you eat, Glenn? What you eat? I had dry butter. You're hot? You can have a whole burger. Well, you can have a whole burger, but I'm... Uh, 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 but this one, okay. Yeah, so you want, she wants a whole burger. Yeah, you can have a whole burger. Raina wants a whole burger. You had barbecue ribs and hot sausage. Uh-huh. Yeah, her brother did barbecue ribs. Oh, Ron, Ron Maple. I was in that one. He did that real. He did about. He said four things at five. I did eight a while ago. The ribs and the hot sausage. Randy, you want some sangria? But she wants a whole burger, so we got to still got to do it. Oh, you mean already drink two? One, two, three. She wants a, you're not, you, she's not going to share with you. She want me to make another one or not? No, no. She's not going to share with you. You sure? All right, Glenn. Glenn, Glenn and Raina are some of our closest friends. That's my, Raina's my sister from another Raina, and I love her. you got to give him a bite so we can taste it. Give him a bite. All right, cool. All right, y'all. We're about to get into this conversation real quick. Hey, Soul Roy. Yeah. It's too fast for me to go. Oh. Sorry, I apologize. I apologize. No, see, now you know where it came from. Boom. So, um, I gotta turn this up just a little bit because Bond told me to turn it down, but he doesn't know what he's doing because he doesn't cook. No, I got tired of it popping me. Big boy, Johnny. What? You busy eating all the fruit that I need for the, um. I'm not eating fruit. <laughs> well, glass. well, this is a pomme de terre in French. What is it? Pomme de terre. It's the apple of the. Just call it a French fry. Just call it a French fry. I've said it's a fruit if, you, if you're a French. A pomme de terre. Got a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Yeah. Mm. A little bit of that. Y'all, this sangria from Aldi is everything. It's it's like my new thing right now. They're ready for the combo. Stay on target. Oh, oh, I'm coming. I'm coming, y'all. I promise. What's up, Marilyn? Key Mercury. What's up, from Maryland? Takes that. We need a flip them yet. Let me check. Mm. Well, I didn't make the same grid itself. I just put fruit and stuff in it. You want one? Taste and see if you want. Okay. Hey, babe, we're trying to glass for Glenn. So what, are you, do this. what are you drinking? Sangria. From where? What? Just get, get over, get over yourself, babe. Where, where'd it go? What from Aldi, from Aldi here, from Aldi. Jeez, oh, old bliss. I know, I called it. Why would you go to Aldi? Bond, 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 stay with it, babe, stay with it. I called it. 
All right, so we're gonna move these over because I'm Where is it? It's right there. It's right there behind you. It's behind you. Oh. Who is this for? It's for Glenn. All right. All right, y'all. Uh -oh. I know Von hates that with a passion. I did it on purpose. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not sure, and I don't want to ruin it for anyone who did not watch the Wendy Williams documentary on Lifetime. So right, before I begin, I do have to say this. There is another document. It's called, what, what's, it, what's it? What a mess. What a mess. What a mess. And it's kind of like the prequel to Where is Wendy Williams? Mm -hmm. I think it's very important for you to watch the prequel. And that's from my time as well. It's, It'll give you. It's, it's, from, it's from the same uh, producer, the same executive producers, everything is the same. But it'll give you more context. It gives a great backstory what? about the beginning of... What's that? Now, I won't say the end because I'm not, I'm not going to put that on that, on that woman like that. That's, um, that's more onion stuff. Uh -huh. I'm not going to put that on her. Um... And Bon and I, we, we really, really deliberated on whether or not we were going to talk about this. Yeah. But moreover, we're not going to make this about Wendy Williams. We're yeah. going to make this about the guardianship and how the government can take over your money, your belongings, and that, and essentially remove you from your own family mm -hmm. if they feel like that's in your best interest without even asking. And the, the funny thing about it is, is that you think it can't happen to you. And I'm going to tell you, you know, to rich people, you know, $50 million, $100 million is a lot of money. But to a working everyday class person, two or $300,000 is that same, has that same value to them. So just because you look at Wendy or a Britney Spears and you think, oh, they're mega rich, that it can't happen to you, yeah, it can. And and and, the, and the, the sad part about it is that it can be done so simply and quickly and and without any warning. It it's it's very sad. It's, it's a very sad thing. But it's like unfair. You you have people who spend their money the way they want to spend their money, whether it's erroneously, whether it's frivolously. There's no one's business. It's, yeah, I get to spend my money the way I want to spend my money. So how can you tell me in the name of the government that I get to cover your money for you? Because, because you can't handle it properly, so I have to handle it for you. But here's, a, but here's the key. It looks, so there's something when you're in banking, it's called a SARS report, suspicious mm -hmm. activity report. And that thing is issued when, and it's, and it's, Sometimes it's triggered by the computer, by the system, but other times it's people that are randomly uh, auditing um, accounts. And so if you're a person that makes $75,000 a year and you see somebody spend $100,000 on a birthday party, that looks suspicious to you. It does, it does. But not if you make $7 million a year, right. that's just, that's so just to, to, Tuesday. To spend $120,000 on a birthday party it's when, just you're, Tuesday. when you're, when you're $7 million per year, like, okay. So are you going to take, um, Steph Curry's money? If he spends $120,000 on his daughter's birthday party, mm -hmm. you understand what I'm saying? So is that erroneous? Is that, is that frivolous? No, because you've got, because you, you, they always say like when you're in, <clears throat> when you're in court, you got to be judged by your peers, but there's no who, who are the peers at there's this no, point? There's no who are the peer, peers? There's no peer, there's peer no group, group. There's no peer group for somebody. I mean, the peer group is the other people that make seven, ten, thirty million dollars a year. But those aren't the people that are evaluating the account. This is a person who makes a hundred, one hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year. Oh my God, a hundred thousand dollars on a birthday or the suspicious activity, and we need to put her in a guardianship or receivership because that money. But just like that's just how they live. So. From my perspective, from being a person who has never been in this in this realm and now finds myself 
immersed in it. She wasn't asking anyone for anything. She wasn't she trying wasn't. to live off of the government. She was, I mean, if she went broke, you know, that's and so what? That, that, that's on her. But there, there's so many people that go broke every day. It's it's just like it's every day. It's, it's people who make fifty thousand dollars a year can go broke. They can file bankruptcy or whatever. And she then, didn't even file bankruptcy or anything like that. Here's the here's the thing. Here's the thing. Which is not a bad business move if you really need to do it, by the way. That's right. But here's the thing. If 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 you if you you have to look deeper into everything, and, and it's real simple. When there's a service that the state provides, they get to charge you for. So it it behooves them, it's beneficial to them to put you in guardianship because they get to charge fees for that. Because otherwise, if nobody's in guardianship, how does the guardian get paid? Everybody else is getting paid except for and her. And that's the other she thing. She doesn't have a debit card. She doesn't have access to her money except for when her manager was like, oh, your money is here and you're leaving it all out in public. Mm -hmm. And But yet she said, but you're the one who brought it, it, to, me. Brought it to me. You, you put it there. But here, here's the thing. Also, her entire staff is still getting a normal paycheck. Normal so paychecks. Everybody is getting paid off this woman's money but her. But her. No access to her money. No credit card. She can't travel. She can't. I not mean, with not without help. That makes her feel like she's like a ward of the daggone state. Like you know, a at child. that point. Like, yeah, like she's in foster care with her own money and her own well-being. Now, mind you, I am not saying, I am not saying that people who have who have some sort of instability or some mental instability, and I'm not saying she has this. Don't say Trina said that because Trina did not say that. Well, here's the thing. They can they 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 can make it up. They can just arbitrarily say that you have some kind of issue. And that's what you're dubbed with, whether it's true or not. But not, but not just that. This is not about Wendy Williams when I say this, yeah. or any other people. It better I'm not. Just it better not making be making a statement. It could be about anyone. I'll say. Let's say we're watching. A, 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 let's say there's a, a new show called uh, Water Babies of uh, South Central. Now, if they are on their boat and they're drinking in every scene, people can call them an alcoholic. But. You're only you're only depicting one hour of that person's life out of a week span or, or a month span or, four or whatever hours the case cut down to an hour. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm not saying that she is not in some way debilitated, you know, because it says that she has I'm dementia. Gonna say, I'm gonna say this. Mm -hmm. Which was onset by no, alcoholism. I'm gonna say this. No one can drink as much as they try to make her look like she drank. It's impossible. It's impossible. You, well, would just, you would unalive yourself if you drank as much as they try to portray her. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised. I, and I, I understand the dementia and I understand, you know, when people who have problems with alcoholism. I'm not saying this is Wendy. I'm just saying. People in general. But I do wonder, you know, what about kidney issues? What, what, she doesn't have liver, any kid, kidney liver or liver. Kidney, or, liver, kidney. Well, she does have a thyroid, but liver, kidney. Thyroid, thyroid can happen to anybody. Yeah, but. Can you check the fries at your burn? I turned it off. They're good. And all I'm saying is, we we can't we can't judge her on past things that she's done in her life to to make her coin or make her, you know, her place in this world the way she felt like she needed to do it. But how you feel about it but, is not the point, though. Exactly. Exactly. It's none of your business. Exactly, Mundo. None of your business what that woman does with her money. If she wants to get all her money out of the bank and set it on fire, it's all right. She earned it. Well, you actually can. It's illegal to burn money. Yeah, the government does it, but it's illegal for private citizens. For, for, right? for my point it's, is, it's illegal for if private she wanted to get right? all of her money out of the bank and stand on a street corner and give it all away over a two-week period, she's free to do that. Give herself away, shoot. She, she can do that. Four burgers. But it's, it's just, the, the point is, is that what you have to understand. Give me four of those. Please. Yeah. What you have to, to consider is that, oh, let's need the fan, is that when you're a person of means or when you're a, a person of fan, you're a constant target. And there are people, there are some people that may mean you well, but there are other people who are just looking for an opportunity. And their only claim to fame is their association with, with you. you. With you. That's it. And, oh, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to take it another further. Go ahead. I want to talk please. about Britney Spears for a second. I love Britney Spears, by the way. She's a fellow Sagittarian. I will say this. Super talented. She is. She has yeah. her own talents within her own right. She's talented. But I'm going to say this, though. You mean to tell me this woman can't handle her own kids, she can't handle her own finances, she can't handle this big old house that y'all are, are living in, 
and y'all get to have friends over, go to the pool, and you guys get to live off of the lifestyle that she's created for herself, and and she is still able to work. She still has the wherewithal to go to work and make this money, so y'all can still get paid while she has no access to her own money. She can she can rock sixty thousand people at a time, but she can't balance a checkbook. Can't right? balance a checkbook. Well, you know, but get out of here, man. You know, that's yeah, garbage. That. If, if, that's if, garbage. If you can't, you know, that's the count. Everybody's not good. You know what I mean. That kind of stuff. But what I'm saying is this. I don't understand how someone feels like your family is not good for you, but someone who doesn't know you is. I'm trying to wrap my head around that. Her parents, I'm sorry. Her I'm parents, trying to extrapolate her, that. Well, her parents, her family in general had, I'm not going to ruin it for anybody, but an obscenely long time of zero contact with her. Where's the place? Right here. But that was, that was my plate. But that's but, oh, what are you doing? Are they, how long are they going to be on? Just like two minutes. All right. You want butter on it? Of course. Well, give me the butter knife. No, give me a butter knife. Thank you, babe. So I'm just, you know, when I, when I, when I saw the documentary, Carol Long, you did an excellent job, by the way. Um, I, I, my, my come away was... She needs some real friends. Impossible to get. She needs her family. And she needs at least some modicum, modicum, however you want to pronounce it. Modicum. Of self-respect for herself because now she's being treated like a five-year-old. Yeah. After after building herself to stardom. After building After herself. generating millions of dollars. Now all of a sudden she can't take care of it. Man, these people is... <laughs> It's it's, it's just, so uh, it's so ignorant. It's so ignorant to say that a person that that has, that's able to control what was her viewership like seven million viewers a day on her show, she can do that, but she can't have a debit card. But but okay, I, I say this: if you're gonna take away her money, I mean, when, when people like let's say I have an assistant, I can give my assistant a per diem card, like. They can like limit the amount of money that she can spend per day or her mm -hmm. card. So it's like, like maybe she gets like seven hundred a day or something like that, or four or five hundred dollars a day. But with the millions of dollars that she's making, it might sound exuberant. There's nothing. But there's nothing for the amount of time and effort and money she that put she in generates, right. to make these millions of dollars that other people are still getting paid on, and she's not. Everybody on that staff is still getting a regular check. A whole entire her. check. I mean, what, what, if, what if she does want to go and see her family? She's like, she's a prisoner in her own home. Hey, you, have, you have to tell people, oh, I want to go see my kid. I want to go see my family. I want to go see my sister. I want to go see my dad, my niece, my, 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 my child. Anybody. Here, the thing is, is that, you know, if, if everybody looks at it and says, oh, that's terrible and oh, and they, maybe some people giggle or whatever, but that could happen to anybody. It, it really can. It, it, it can happen to anybody. anybody. If you, you end up with a little, just a little bit of money and you've got one conniving business partner, family member, whomever, and, um, and they think that you're just not competent, they can, they can petition the court to, to put you in guardianship. Here's the thing. I don't care who that woman talked about. If you never talked about somebody in your life, raise your hand. <laughs> If you've never been talked about it by somebody in your direct life, raise your hand. That's all I'm saying. She didn't do anything any worse than anybody else. She did what she had to do to, to create, you know, a, a platform for herself. Now, mind you, some people might like it, some people don't like it. It didn't happen to me, so I, I can speak on it like that. Can you put that back, please? It's enough for me, babe. It's going to be soggy, okay? Just, just, let me. But what I'm saying is... I want to pray for her. I want to give her a hug because I think that she needs some real friends in her life because she's lonely. It's too late. She did her job. She did it well. We were entertained. There are no more real friends in this her life. This woman can barely walk. She can't. She can't make. Here's 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 the problem, and th and this is something that I've learned since coming into this life and and in this city. I've met more people who will introduce someone as their best friend. And when you say that to me, it's like, oh, cool. How long have you known them? 
two months, two and a half years. And it's like, these people are in their forties and my problem, not that it can't happen, but I see so many people in this industry who their best friend, they've known two and a half years and they're 48 years old. That's a problem for me. Like, why don't you have any life? Well, where, 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 like, where are your lifetime friends? I'm not saying everybody has to be like me. I'm not saying that, but it's at, at, at what point? Yes, babe. At what point? At what point do you stop entertaining new individuals? Dukes. Because let me tell you, it's the way that I'm going I'm to say this, and it's specifically about that documentary. The way that she spoke to some of those people. It was if, harsh, if, abrasive. If, and, and if they were her friends, if they were her real friends, they would have cursed her out. And look, sis, who you talking to? Or, or they would have been fist fighting. And I'm just telling you, that's the way it works with real friends. If you can speak to someone as harshly as she did to some of those people and they can take it with a smile on their face, they have an agenda. Like, look, sis, you having a bad day? Like, what's going on? Let's talk about it. Because uh-huh. that's that's the conversation I would have with my friends. Or if they decided to go on something like that. Or, if, tangent. or if you're a guy, hold up, bro. Who are you talking to? But we don't we don't do that here. What's wrong with you? We can step outside. That's that's the way. You want cheese? Please. That's the way guys handle it. So my, my point is is that lettuce, tomato, onion, onion, pickle, pickle. I'm listening. I promise. One one two two. One one two two, babe. One one what? Lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle. One one two two. One lettuce, I'm, I'm confused. one lettuce, one tomato, two onions, two pickles. One, one, two, two. That's what I want. I can do it myself. I, I'm, I'm, I'm in a whole different situation. I got you. Right here. It's like... So I want one of these. I want one of these. I want two onions. Wait, wait now. Wait, wait. That's, that's, not, that's, that's not the order. That's okay. not the order. All right. Well, that, okay. Anyway. So the, the point is, and she says she needs friends in her life. If she doesn't have friends now, then it's just probably a, a, a lost cause. And I'm going to tell you why. Not to be mean, but anyone who shows up who genuinely has um, care for this woman, now that person and the person who's conniving and wants what she has. Ketchup and mustard? No ketchup. Just mayonnaise and mustard. Um, they look the same. Oh. You know, a person, because a person that's conniving, they're going to appear to have your best interest at heart because they're going to do all the same things as your friend would until a point so you never know until you know but to get the, the point is is that the people who aren't her friends who portray themselves as such will do a good job of blocking the the people who may have genuine genuinely good intentions for so the likelihood of her at, at 59 years old of, of meeting a new person who's going to be her genuine friend is slim to none because it just it doesn't happen at that age i'm 56 years old it doesn't happen at that age I'm 25, 30, 40 years, 45 years in. Jesus Christ. 48 years in with my one of my best friends. That nobody's going to replace him. Now I do. I, I have been lucky enough to meet some really good people down here that I consider my brothers. Baz is one of them. Darnell is one of them. Mm-hmm. You know, I've met some smooth, smooth, well, smooth I know smooth since he was 13 years old, but I've got, you know, I've just been lucky in that regard. But then again, there's no benefit to being my friend other than you just want to be my friend because I'm not on television. Beasley. Bees is, Bees is a cool ass dude. Yeah, we're, we're getting closer, but, but it's just hard at that age to, to have genuine friendship. So she's just kind of stuck. And the way that the court is, has kept her away from her family and you know her son was at first her son was her executor and they removed him. and they removed him and gave that job to a stranger who's never seen the type of money that she makes ever in their life it's just just sad thanks dear can you taste it please yeah i sure can because i haven't had any food today what's that i'm not giving you the finger we pull that off it's plastic take it off of my finger it's not plastic it's a piece of onion oh yeah. let's get it I'll move this so you can put it down and enjoy it thoroughly. I did it. Mm. 
Ó. Uhum. It's delicious. Uhum. You want to chew before you swallow? Pour it up. Let's make it into smaller bites. We need to thaw out that other. We need to thaw out that other turkey. Want another one? We not finish that one. I know you want another one. We finish I, that. I know. I didn't. I've never had the onion roll out. The onion rolls are everything. I thought it was a bad call. Nope. I, I know what I'm doing. It isn't. It's delicious. And I typically don't put bacon on burgers ever. Bacon. But it was beef. And beef and it's a turkey. everything. Mm. The crinkle fries, they have um olive oil. Olive oil and salt and pepper. And no seasoned salt. I'll put salt and pepper on. Mm. Like when you go to Zaxby's. I'm not a fan of Zaxby's. This is better. Mm. It's a little dry because I ain't frying it. Ma Raina hasn't had any food today. Make Raina's. Raina about to make her own. Oh, yeah. Come here, Raina. I'm busy. I can't help you. Mm. So. Mm. Mm. Babe, it's good. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. There's all the stuff for it. Well, you know where everything is. So all I'm saying is this. Please surround yourself by people you trust. Everybody who's in your circle is not in your corner. I've said that 50,000 times. I'm going to keep saying it. Because it's the truth. Just be careful who you associate yourself with. Be careful who you tell all your business to. Because then people can't use it against you. And they're using all her stuff. It's just, y'all, mm -hmm. mm. And people, they have all these yes people around them, all these assistants. Now, I'm, I'm, there's nothing wrong with having an assistant. I have an assistant. Your stylist, your, your makeup people. And, and he started out, and I'm not saying anything about her manager, but he started out as somebody she was partying with. She, he started out as somebody that, that was commissioned to do her jewelry, and now he's her manager, and he's managing her finances. Nothing bad about it. I'm not, I'm not talking about anybody. Watch out what you Again, <laughs> I'm not talking about any Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. Just be careful. Because now her family is isolated. They don't know exactly where she is. And why, wait, why doesn't my family of all people know where I am? My family doesn't know. So you get to keep me from my family? What are you, are you trying to isolate me from my family? If you don't have someone in your life that'll tell you when you're being an idiot, you don't have any friends in your life. If you don't have anybody that curse you out when you're going down the wrong road, and if you're a guy, if you don't have somebody that's willing to fight you to keep you from making the wrong decision, you don't have any friends in your life. And if you're mad, you get over it. And let me tell you something, just like, just like parents with their kids. Like, if a parent never pissed off their kid, they're not doing a good job. And if you're my friend, and I've never pissed you off, and you never pissed me off, and I can't check you, and you can't check me, we're not friends. Not at all. We're not friends. If you can't tell me that I'm wrong, we're not friends. If I can't tell you that you are wrong, we're not friends. And I'm not saying mm -hmm. that you go in front of people and do that. No. Not necessary. That's not necessary. That's not necessary. I I'll be there right there in your corner. Mm -hmm, girl, yeah, girl, yeah, girl, yeah, girl. Girl, you know you were wrong, right? You, you got to be able to tell people. Guys are a little different. And I'm not going to uphold you in your wrongness. I'm not going to do it. Guys are a little different. I'm not going to make you feel like you're right and you're wrong. Well, guys are a little different, and here's why. You need to catch your friends in the act. That burger look really, it looks really good. It's, it's, it's incredible. There's no ketchup. It's incredible. Say it again. Because. You got ketchup? You ketchup? Most guys know this. I, I don't know how many men are watching this because most, most of, the, of her viewers are female. But if there are two men in the room, there's always a threat of violence. So if your friend, if you're with your boy and he's clowning and he's talking to some other guy and you know it's going to escalate, you need to tell him right now, bro, you're wrong. That dude is not the one that bumped into you. It was this other dude over here. You're going down the wrong, you're going down the wrong street. I just saw his boy grab a bottle. He's about to break it and stab you in your neck. You, I mean, if you're a guy, you need to do that that in the moment because guys with guys stuff, women will, will yell at each other and bark and all of that. Men don't do that. Men go after each other. It could be dangerous. So 
if you're if you're a guy if you're a guy and you have friends, you need to catch him in his wrongness in the in in the moment. Because if you don't, it could be too late. It was good, ain't it, Glee? You lie. Anyway, this turkey say, mm -mm. burger is incredible. I love turkey you're burgers. Not, you're not getting friends. So that's 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 my take on it. And I actually, I would like to watch it again just so I could probably get some more clarity on it all. I just but it makes me sad. It makes me sad when I it's watch very it. Very sad. Every and then and, and circumstantially, you know, and the thing is, hold on, y'all. Here's Matt. Everything that woman has worked for is going up in flames. But not just that. People feel like because you're in the public eye, you don't have feelings. And you have no right to privacy. She still had. She still had to show up every day, no matter what she was going through with her divorce. Your man had a baby on you. She lived less than ten miles away, and the woman coming to your house, taking pictures and videotaping, her and then she got a whole a whole baby. Her mother passed away too. Her mother passed away. Yeah. She passed out on her show, but yet the show must go on. And they put her back Everybody up there. else still needs to be paid. The same day she passed out, and they pushed her back. Anyway. I'm just, let me tell you something. All I'm saying is right, wrong, good, bad, and different. I just say that prayers need to go up for her. Yeah. For her well-being. Period. No matter how you feel about her, no matter how you don't feel about her, I'm not going to come on here and tell you how I feel about her or how I don't feel about her. It's nobody's business how I feel about her or how I don't feel about her. Oh, All point. I'm saying is that she needs a hug and she needs some prayer. For her, for her well-being and for her wellness, and I pray for her family to be because they have to sit there and watch that. Her dad lost his wife, and now he has to watch his daughter diminish in and couldn't her. see her for a long period of time. Yeah, and eight months at a time, not seeing your own. And kid. he's at advanced age. That's all. I'm, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. After she gets back in control of the wealth that she generated, that's hers. I pray that she regains her health and her wealth. Yeah, that's true. Because those are two things that people will try to take from you. <laughs> yeah. People, people will keep you stressed out on purpose. Some people are waiting for you to die just so they can take your stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or they're write, waiting. Or write a book in about the wings. Yeah. Or they're doing things to help you accelerate. <laughs> yeah. Mental unhealth. Yeah. They keep that stress on you. We've seen it done. We have. So, we were, we were not going to talk about this tonight, but I'm, I'm kind of glad we did, because I kind of got it off of my chest, because it was very bothersome to me. We weren't going to talk about it, because you thought I would say something wrong. And I did think he was going to say something out of the way. I'm going to be honest. I thought Vaughn was going to say something out of the way, because we all know Vaughn, and we know Vaughn's mouth, and we know that he has no filter. So, because Vaughn has no filter, we're going to have to put him in a little colander. We, got, we have a Vaughn strainer, a Vaughn colander. Okay? So. Is there anything, is that like when you aerate wine? No, it's not when you aerate wine. Oh. It puts oxygen in it. Yeah. We want to give you more oxygen to say what you want to say. Oh, take my oxygen from it. <laughs> no, no more word oxygen for you. Yeah, um, I'm not sure if it's a continuation tonight or if it's like a repeat of what we all saw last night. It's about to be on, if not already, in like 10 minutes. Um, I say, you know, don't, don't turn it off for me, but just put it on your DVR and record it. <laughs> but it, it, it is worth a watch. Um, even if you don't know who she is, I think it's a, a great way to figure out who she is, you know, because a lot of people who bark and a lot of people who have that, you know, that external non-filter, you know, that's a defense mechanism for a lot of people. I didn't know anything about her, really. I never watched her show. Well, she did things with like Braxton Family Values and stuff before, too. Yeah, she was when we had our one reunion show back in the day and they decided not to do it anymore. I'll tell you why later. But um, she was the commentator of that show. Oh, wow. okay. And then we we developed a, a, a friendship with her and, and our family after that. How'd that go? So it was fine. She didn't, she's never said anything negative about anybody in our family. Um, I have no problems with Wendy Williams. She has no problem with anybody in the Braxton family that I know of, unless she, you know, has something that she's never said. But, um, but it's not even about that. 
It's not about that. But when, when you see a need, you feel a need. And she is a woman who is in need. And she just needs prayer. And the only thing I can do is pray for her and give her a virtual hug. That's all I can do. I just pray for her health and I pray that she regains her wealth. That's what I pray for. For her. Did you really eat that whole burger already? It was massive. Was I supposed to not eat it all? I didn't even make a burger for me yet. Or my... Right. There's two of you. You gotta get two of them. Don't, no, I don't, no, that is not an invitation for Vonda. You, you never finish your food. I'll, hey, Raina, I'll... did you put bacon on yours? Yeah. It's beef bacon. It's delicious, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, uh. Where'd you get beef bacon from? You can get it from Publix. Tawana gave that to me. Yeah, Tawana got us that one. You can get it from Publix, you can get it from Ingles, you can get it from Amazon. Walmart. Tawana's a uh, bonsai, you can get it from Walmart. Um, I, I hadn't seen it at Kroger. No, but I didn't really look either. But, yeah, we hadn't really been looking. Well, I wanna, they might have it in the butcher section, though. I probably do. I want to say something. Mm-hmm. No matter what you aspire to do in your life, success wise, fame wise, money wise, excuse me, always do your best to ensure that you stay in control of your own life. Mm-hmm. Don't delegate too much of your life to a third party because you never, you, I'm, the vast majority of people who have assistants, who have publicists, who have all of these things, the overwhelming majority of them, even if they don't mean you good, they're benign. They're not going to hurt you. They're just going to work as long as you're, as you're successful, then they'll disappear. But there are those individuals, that small contingent that just looks to parasite off of people who achieve. And if you fall prey to it, you could wake up and you could be in her situation and and have $41 million in the bank and no debit card to access it. But even even the, the, the publicist wanted to be the manager. Like, that's everybody, not even in your job description. Everybody has an agenda. That's what I'm saying. She, and she, you know, and she felt she could do a better job than the manager did. Well, well, but he was. Uh, I don't leave that where it is. It's not my business to, to 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 talk on. But all I'm saying is this: even the Bible said, I don't know what y'all believe, what y'all don't believe, but even the Bible said, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. So to tell everybody all your business is a mistake. So, and everybody who's around you is not happy for you. Mm-hmm. This, what they do, put this smile in your face. All the time they want to take your place. The backstabbers. Backstabbers. What you know that song? I'm 56. Nobody learned that song. Oh my God, dear. What 56. they is It's a dope song. It's, it's, it's worth a listen because it's true. Hmm. That song is 50 years old and it still applies. Like, monster, monster, you're in here. Hey, Monster. Hey, Tamar. We should. I need to thaw out that. Did you turn that off yet? That's your water. Yeah. Well, it'll it'll get hot again. I think we gotta thaw out the other. We would we would thaw out the other. Put it in the uh, defroster. Okay. Okay, babe. I'll make you some more burgers. So, burgers are done. We're done. We did a whole entire one hour today. I'm actually really surprised. We did under an hour today. This was really quick. It was really quick. It was burgers, American burgers. It's really delicious. No, I mean it didn't seem long and drawn out. It didn't. I thank y'all for engaging and listening. And you know, uh, it was a good time. I had a blast. Yeah, I hope everybody. If you want to watch that, watch it. If you don't, don't. But the point is, is watch your own back. Yeah, don't make sure you watch for the people. box of tissue. Don't. Well, I'm saying, watch your own back. Don't rely on other people to have your best interest at heart. I had a, a a lady say something to me. I worked with her one time, and she said to me. Something happened. We were were working together at a company and she said, no one wakes up trying to make sure that you have a good day. What? She said, no one wakes up. She didn't say try. She said, no one wakes up with the intention of making sure you have a a good day. Mm. They're worried about themselves. Mm. Uh, Linda Palmer said that to me years. I mean, this is 30 years ago. She said, literally, it's probably 20 28 years ago, but she said, no one wakes up trying to ensure that you have a good day. That's your job. And it's your job to watch your own life. It's, it's, you can't hire people. You can't pay people to love you. You can't hire people mm-hmm. to have your best mm-hmm. interest at heart. Mm-hmm. And th- th- those two things are contradictory. So it's my job to care about you. All right, I'll care as long as the paycheck keeps coming. But when the paycheck stops, 
well, I don't have any more care for you because I got to go care for the people that are paying me. So you, the good, the, the, the one thing I can say to anybody is get yourself some good friends, cherish good people in mm-hmm. your life mm-hmm. because they are hard to come by. And if, and then this arena in this city, <laughs> it, it, it's almost impossible because everybody's got an agenda. So, well, but that's also why it's called self esteem, self self assurance. Because the thing is, it's how you esteem yourself. And then yes, somebody likes me. And then yes, somebody cares. So, yeah, him. How do you see yourself? How do you view yourself? And let me tell you something: people don't like it when you shine when you walk through a room. Excuse me. They don't like it. No, they if don't. you're self assured, if you don't do that, automatically hate you. Look at her. She she thinks she know. You think I'm. In in athletics. As a matter of fact, you're welcome. In athletics, it's called tilting the room. Yeah, it's people don't like that. But I don't know. It is not my business how you feel about me. That's that's it. That's your internal stuff. How you feel about me is none of my business. That's not my I, business. I, I say that all the time. It's for you. Those are your thoughts. I have nothing to do with it. Yeah, and that's why people try so hard to get their opinions of you noticed because they want you to know that they feel a certain way about you. But I. I've always said this. Hey, mommy. Being liked is overrated and being disliked is not fatal. You can walk into a room where everybody likes you or you can walk into a room where everybody dislikes you. It's really not going to change your day-to-day life all that much. Not mine. It's just not. It's, it's, it's not. It's not. You still got to go to work to pay your own bills. You still got to figure out a way to, to make it through this life. What, what people think about you is, is it should be the least important thing to you. It really should. And quite frankly, I'm going to say this. I'm, and I hate when people say, somebody needs to hear this. No, if you need to hear it, you do if you don't do Whatever, yeah. If you're spending a lot of time wondering what I'm doing, <laughs> if you're spending your time and you can't sleep because I'm on your mind, let me tell you something, sister or brother. That means that you are not paying enough attention to yourself and your own goals you have and aspirations. You don't have enough going on. She's absolutely right. You do not have enough going on in your life if you're only thinking about mine. And, that, and that's the thing about, about quote unquote haters. I don't, I don't have time to hate on anybody else. I'm too busy worrying about what I have to do, what she has to do, what we have to do, what our family has to do. I don't, I don't have time to, to focus on what someone else is or isn't doing. I want the best for everyone, except for the people that want the worst for me. Then I want for them whatever they pray for me. Boom. I, I just I, I don't I I know what the Bible says, and I'm trying. And I talk to God about it. I haven't been exercised from that yet, but I don't love everybody. I love who loves me, and the people that dislike me, I'm kind of apathetic to. The people that hate me, I hate them. That's just the way I operate. We're working on that. I would, I'm trying. It's just a. We're working on. Yeah, but the point is, what the the point is, is what you shouldn't do is love somebody that you know dislikes you and give them access to your life that's because they don't difficult. mean that's you. Difficult. They don't that mean you good. anything, yeah. anything positive. That's so, true, my wife is, she's the most forgiving person I've ever met. No, Jesus, I never. I said I met. Oh, he's well. You need to get to know him if you don't know. I know of him. I know know of him. I haven't met him. I'm planning. I'm planning to meet him real soon. Not too soon. I need your one. Our soon. Oh, oh. You know, world soon. Not anyway. Oh, here's something. Here's something for you people who consider yourselves Christians and followers of the Bible. The Bible states, and I don't know the verses, but fact check me. I'll help you out. The Bible says that Jesus will not return. He was not going to return before Israel was established as, as a state, as a country. We've got, the the We've got that. We've got that. Well, uh, this, this is a conversation. Saying, We're home. Mm-hmm. The Bible also states that someone who was alive when Israel was formed as a state or a union or as a country will also be alive you, to, to see the, the second coming of Jesus. Now, Israel was established in 1948. So the people that were born in 1948 will be 80 in 20, 
28. Sangria. The point is, there's not that much time left. If you believe the, the gospel, you might have between two and 20 years. That person could live to be 100 years old, but someone who was alive when Israel was formed as a nation will be around to see Jesus return. So you don't have a lot of time. You better get yourself the right. The Bible also says no one knows the date or the hour. No. But um, I am going to say what this. Is, why would you say that? The, they just gave, the Bible gave you the date and the hour. He did, he, they didn't know. Oh, he gave you the time. He did, yeah, right. that's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, no one knows the date or the hour. the date or the hour. I'm just saying that. I will say this. And I'm going to go because I want to eat my burger. Mm -hmm. But Vaughn eats it. I won't eat it. Oh, I don't excuse. believe in. Go ahead. No, say that first. I don't believe in people saying, I'm going to let my haters be my motivators. I'm not trying to check on y'all if y'all hate me. I'm not checking for you. As a matter of fact, I didn't call you, so don't pick up the phone. Dial in my number. <laughs> you are not my motivator. I motivate myself. I give praise and thanks to the Almighty God, and that's it. And I keep my life moving. And that's it. If you hate me, God bless you. That's your problem. I hope I hope He continues to bless you in some way, shape, or form, so that you love yourself enough to not hate on me. But you are not my motivator. I wake up in the morning and I don't think about you. At all. Not, not you. I don't think about you at all. You are not my motivator. I motivate myself. I motivate my husband. I motivate my children. I motivate my family. I motivate myself. I pour into myself. Mm -hmm. And I hope you do the same. That way you don't have to hate on me. That way you don't have to worry about what I weigh. That way you don't have to worry about what me and my husband do together. That way you don't have to worry about what I'm doing in my life. And you know what? As a matter of fact, why can't you be happy for my blessings? I'm happy for yours. I don't even know you. I'm happy for yours. People aren't, aren't, people aren't, aren't wired that way anymore. I, I wish you all the blessings in the world. Not wired like that. But I don't care. And the other thing is the blessings that my wife gives, the blessings that I get, they don't take away from yours. Doesn't take away God, from yours. God is infinite. I can get everything in the world, and he'll create another world and give you the same thing. My candle can light your candle, and it still, still does not give my light. And still stay lit. My candle is still lit. I promise it is, unless I choose to blow it out myself. Unless you choose to blow it. Yeah, just, you know what? Yeah, it, it, yeah to, to wrap it up, because all of it, all of it's connected. Take care of yourself. Take care of your loved ones. Keep some people that you love and that love you close. Mm -hmm. Circle the wagons on the on the outside world because as you as you see, you know, and I and I I don't I don't I don't care. I don't want to I don't want to focus on race, but I want you to pay attention to something. Britney Spears' father was in charge of her estate. Mm -hmm. right? mm -hmm. Wendy mm -hmm. Williams made her son mm -hmm. the executor. Of her estate, but, but the, the, the whatever not, overseer of her estate, whatever, and then the state ripped that away duty from away from him. Mm -hmm. So you got to pay attention to that too. My point is, is if you look like us, you're probably you and your family will probably be dealt with more harshly than others. So yet but another. We don't know reason, that for sure. We're just that's speculation. You know what? I look at data. The data says what it says. Do your own research. Point is, it's, it's a That's truck. It's a up. truck backing up. This time of night. It's, what time is it? It's eight o'clock. They, you can deliver furniture. Yeah, but they, they can. If, if I let's say I gave Bond a uh, power of attorney over my finances, over my state, whatever the case may be, our state. But if the government and the judge, the, the judicial system feels like. I'm unfit. That he's, un he's unfit. Even or, though I or, mis he was. or misappropriate. Or misappropriate. Had or, misappropriation of funds. Or, or, were, or were you weren't sound mind enough to do it. Whatever yeah. the case may be, yeah. they can rescind his power of attorney mm -hmm. and just give it to somebody else. Some person that, never that, met That's state appointed or that's government appointed that doesn't even know me. They don't know my funds, they don't know my background, they don't know anything. How many, how many of you people want someone who's never met you making decisions about your everyday life? My hand's not up. And not, not, in, not in the governmental way. I'm talking about Period. in your house. Period. Just, just circle the wagons around your friends and family. Love each other. Mm -hmm. Watch each other's backs. And don't let the outsiders come in. Everybody who's in your circle is not in your corner. corner. Please always remember that. Please always remember that. Very sad. Very sad. 
I, I, I feel sad for her. I, I do. I feel sad. But Wendy, you're in our prayers. You're in our thoughts. Prayers prayer are going up for you, my love. I am giving you uh, a, a virtual hug because I know you need it. And I, and I pray that God gives you some real friends in your life that will, you know, be honest with you and forthright with you and your situation. Oh, and, tough. you know, and how just many, love on you. Just how, many love people, on you. how many people around her did she make rich to not even have a debit card? That part, Ugh. that part, and, or even hey, you know, I, I'm gonna leave it. I have to leave. I have to leave it where it is. I have to leave where it is because I'm gonna be absolutely honest. When Brexit family values, when we got canceled, I mean, there were there were nights of I would have, t- and Raina was there. Raina could tell you there would be a table full of people. We sitting there, we cackling, we laughing. I'm cooking every day. We giving out drinks, blah blah blah. After Brexit family values was canceled, I didn't see hardly any of them. I took, I got like three friends left, and those are the only three friends that I kick it with to this day. Raina is one of them. Nikki's one of them. Tamika is one of them. I'm talking about girlfriends. I'm not talking about my male friends. Y'all know who y'all are. I love y'all. But I'm just saying, hmm. I only kick it with the ones who stayed around hmm. when the lights weren't on. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not talking about. Not the, the, I'm not talking about the lights, like in the light bill. I'm talking about when the lights were like lights, camera action. Like these lights, yeah. I'm just saying, and I still had those same three. Raina Smith, Tamika Scott, and Chef Nikki. Those are my people. My, my female people. And, and Dr. Brown. But she hadn't been around as long as they had. But, right. You know, and his sister, but she, they hadn't been around as long. But y'all know what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I kick it with the same folks. <clears throat> and Raina is my sister from another mister. And I fool with her husband just a little bit, Glenn. I'm just, I'm just, I'm paying, I'm paying, I'm paying, I'm paying, I'm paying. I'm paying. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this food, y'all, and I'm gonna eat it and like it before Vaughn has me cooking again. Before I even get to my no, burger, I'm not gonna have you cook. I'm gonna cook it myself. What? I make. I know how to make a hamburger, babe. You gonna cook your own food? Come on, yes, I cook my own food regularly. When you travel, when I'm not here, exactly. When I was, when I was on the road, I cook my own food. When I travel, exactly. So mm-hmm. he's he trying to front on it, but it's okay. <clears throat> I'm not trying to. I said I can. I don't want to. I hope you guys enjoy your burgers. Let me know how you guys will enjoy them. I'm going to go eat because I'm hungry. Oh, I hit my, my thing. I'm sorry, Mike. I love you guys. Raina, I love you too. You sitting right there. Mommy, I love you. Tawana, I love you. Tamar, I love you. And guys, tell your family you love them. Amen. You be mad all day long. But as long as there's a day, there's a day. As long as there's breath, there's a day. As long as there's time, there's time. You never know. Love your family. You never, ever. Sometimes you don't like them. Sometimes I don't like mine. But I love them. And I will run through hell with kerosene draws on for them. Amen. Love your family. Yeah. And I really like y'all. I don't love all y'all yet, but Mm -mm. I'm working on it. Mm -mm. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate, you know, the consistency with you guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I mean, really, really, hey, social butterfly, hey, and then, um, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys, and I will see you guys next week if we don't see you next time before Vaughn puts me on live and my hair is not done. Okay, love y'all. Take care. Thank you.